relationship, both man and woman, what if the man is um, overprotective? Does it cause fear in the relationship? So, in my understanding for overprotective, I don't know if you are talking about insecurity issues here. Yeah, we have insecurity. Okay, so, yes, that's, that's a perfect ground for fear to arise in a relationship. Because if, Mama Ga, I'm going out with you, we are in a relationship, and every time I see you on a phone, I'm like, who is that? Who are you talking to? Anytime I see you standing with someone, I'm like, what's going on? Why are you talking with this person? I begin to put out some fear into you. And then at your free period, you sit there and you cast out your mind and you're like, what is this guy doing? I mean, so I shouldn't even get calls from my friends. Shouldn't I talk with someone? Then it begins to side the mind and put some level of fear into you. Okay. Okay, I, I want to start this scenario. There was this relationship a friend of mine went into, and then um, even if she gets a lift coming home, she's scared because the guy is either at the junction or in the house waiting. Indirectly, that means that uh, be a man in lift, you know. When any panel will be here, you know. The guy is, I was like, a lion and she's she, she she feels insecure to open up so such a person would you say the guy is carrying her or was carrying her okay um mama Ga, from the story you just narrated the guy himself has issues okay yes because people don't just get up we, we have just rare cases of people doing that Okay, but people don't just get up to do what you just said because I'm a guy too. And so you don't just get up and see. But it happens because he had had an experience, maybe from a previous relationship or even with certain guys. He hear what people say about their relationships and that's his first time he's gone into it. So he wants to protect his own interest. What if he in person is also doing that? But he's scared that his his partner, who is the lady, will also get involved. What happens to it? Uh, it's possible. So you see, um, Mama God, today you're taking me off scripture, Kakra, but we'll, we'll go on that part. You see, when men begin to go outside of a relationship or of a marriage, to be honest, they are not really scared their wives, especially when it's a marriage. They are not scared their wives can do the same. Okay. Because when you look even in the Bible, there, there's been no instance that you have m women or ladies going after more than one guy. Oh. But there are so many countless of times that we have men going for more than one woman. Y you understand? Okay. So when men go out there, we are not scared you also go out there when we are in marriage. But in the relationship settings, we tend to protect our interests. So me, I'll, I'll go and do, but you, I don't want you to do. That means if the lady does that on the wire bunny. Automatically, that's, that's how we grew up. I mean, in, even in our, in our Christian settings, I mean, a man can we, actually... We're coming there, but we want to finish the side. We're okay. coming to the Christian settings, especially okay. the house of God. We, we want to understand some things in the house of God. So let's finish, and then we enter into the house of God. Okay. Okay, Mama Ga, um, you are putting me on the spotlight. Um, if the man does that, why the woman does that, why I can't say that. Because no, that's, the, that's, that's the mentality now. Because what I'm what I'm saying, it's it, it's 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 been tormenting this lady to the extent that she's scared of entering into a different relationship. Even w the one that she has even gotten right now, it's like the ex came to the the present one and then had to cause a sin in the house. So the present guy, it's also kind of like a. Hey, so I say style be as on and off no meter. Dum so dum so be. You know. 
Namaga, the guy is not matured. I'll put it this way. Excuse my language, but please, if I'm a serious guy and I meet this lady and I think I want us to go through the, the process of dating and through courtship until marriage, I won't listen to what people come arrogantly to say to me. I would only listen to advice. And even with that, I'll have to pray and seek the face of God. Hmm. Uh, fellow viewers, in your relationship, where do you seek your advice from? From fellow men? Do you seek from God? Or you just sit down to analyze things yourself and then you feel what you are doing is best or that's the best thing you can do for yourself we are diving into the house of god especially the church as christians mr george um as as children of god or we christians we we have people who are in the house of god let's say they have tattoos and stuff on their body but that was in the past so even in the house of god they try to cover it some they feel so and your baby so let me just leave it but i still want to serve god with my whole heart and then this person wants to go into a relationship so as you mean we have the pastor i don't want to mention some church's name but the pastor is like okay more bad yeah yeah they're counseling then he start putting some things across you can see that it, it doesn't go in favor of the guy but yet the guy is also willing to go out with this lady what should we or what should the church do about such people because it, when, when it continues like that it kills or it's it diminished the person's spirit and then coming to the house of god to serve or to 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 mingle or have that family there doesn't really work such people how do we treat them as a church, as a family in the house of God? Okay. Um, so if I get you clearly, um, there's this couple trying to work things out and get to marry, and then they go to the church. Can I put my church, for instance? Can I, don't I mention? Have any problem. Okay, so my church is Hope International Ministries. We are located at Lashibi. We have a couple of branches around. Okay. Um, so with my church, and what I know, Scripture says, thou shalt not judge. And aside that, this was in the past. See, Scripture tells us in the book of Romans that past things are gone. Okay? And so, so it tells us that once we become born again, all the past things we get to do are gone. And, and we have new creature. We are new creations now. Okay. So in that aspect of the Bible, no one, not even the counselor, even gets to talk about the person's tattoo because she or he did the tattoo before he came to receive Christ. Okay, and Bible tells us, you understand? So I believe that what the church needs to do is to teach us what we need to know. Okay, so the counselor who is there is not there to, to put fear into these two gentlemen and a lady who are the lady and the gentleman, but to teach them what they don't know. The past is gone. It's behind us, and we don't need to go back to the past again. Okay, that's, that's also not bad because I'm, I'm getting into it. But here lies the case. Um, the person has locks. Which is the guy? Yes. Okay. And then the lady is also willing to go with him like that to the altar. As a father, would you advise your daughter to go on with it? Because she, she is the woman and she has the hair. And you, the man too, you have locks. Fine, you start it nicely. You play your keyboard, you play your drums with it, and then you are okay in the house of God. But here lies the case. You are venturing into a relationship with it, and then... The person father will be like, Oh, Akonta. Aso. Aso. Then you come, oh Akonta. Good evening. Then they'll smile to you. But behind you, when you go, they have 
so many things they tell their daughter. As a father, would you support that? Um, I would like us to take something from the scripture. Definitely. Okay. So, um, with your permission, I read. First yes, John, chapter 4, verse 18, tells us that there is no fear in love, but perfect love casts out fear. Please break it down for us. Okay. So, what the scripture is trying to tell us that any other thing not the locks, not the tattoo. So long as there is love, and love cuts across from every angle. First, the love of God. Then it comes down to the erotic love that we, the youth and the couples, enjoy now. Okay? Okay. It surpasses everything. It takes control over everything. If irrespective of so we're putting on Lord. Remember Jesus Christ loved us. He loved the church just as we were, just as we are. So who are we to judge, say, until so we in the locks and now our paper tattoo needs ye ma ye baba no and I ye baba man and kwa we that would be judging on our part and scripture says we should not scripture says we should not judge but as we humans we the church can we sit down analyze and say we've not judged souls we've, we've not separated two beautiful souls just because one person is comfortable in his or her zone and then the other person is not have you broken up your relationship just because you feel the other person is insecure or you've broke up your relationship because you, you feel say when, when that person goes you still have someone better to replace but yet when the new one comes you are still looking for the old one did you think twice before breaking up as the church how well have you joined souls is it because that the bible says when a man a man and a woman will leave their parents house and become one is that why we join souls as married couples don't forget we still wait your questions and then your comment god bless you so much we will still continue and then um with with all this in this past relationship of ours whatever has happened should we fear should should we have that fear in entering into a new one because we still have ladies or men out there who are scared or who have that fear and in going into a different relationship I'm, I'm saying this because um there has been an instance where as we said the last time the lady is a christian the guy is a muslim and she found herself submitting or committing herself to the muslim the muslim is also willing to marry her just that because she's also not ready to convert into his religion He's going into the Christian dom. With this, with these two parties, when this starts with the church, how is it going to be like? Mamaga, this issue, I think we addressed it last time, but we didn't have much time to complete. Yes. So, like I said previously, it doesn't work out, especially not from the um, Islamic perspective of things. Okay. When a brother is from, or is an Islam, and then the lady is um, a Christian, what they turn out to do is that they come in, excuse my language, to deceive the women, okay, and get them into family way. They will come to church with you nicely and all of that. Once they get what they want from you, which is the marriage, they stop the church. So I, I think I did a couple of homeworks and I realized that is what I, I, I cited like three examples. I know a friend's mom whom that happened to. And today, the, the, the man calls Allah, but the woman doesn't even have time to, to go to church. Yes. 
So it doesn't work out. So don't try it as a Christian youth out there and trying to come up. Please, it's not a good area for you. The guys who say yes, they want to because the love is there and all of that. But once they get through with you, they will go back to their religion. Because Islamic religion is a serious thing, unlike even the Christians. We, I, sometimes I look at us and I say we are joking. But the Muslims, once they psych up their mind to do what they want to do, they do it in, to perfection. Unlike, we, what we, we do is like, okay, so uh, let me go and sin some more and then I come back and Jesus will forgive my sin because that's what the Bible tells us. As for Islam, they know that when you sin, there is a punishment for you to receive. Okay, so when it happens like that and then pregnancy setting, as the church, in terms of the lady, are they going to accept her back and answer a bit china sign? And you, the man, in the other religion, which is the Muslim community, are your people also going to say, say, one year, say, Obi Baba Bon, say, 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 Oba Mosca, and as Oba Masalachi, a bomb pie, a chem will be a rain, and son of a bald day. Or how is it like? Because I know that there are some churches, when it happens like that, Obano, your true sign. Because we go in minimum sense, in a bit true sign. Does it go the same way? for the men either in the muslim community or in the church um mama you see this our world we live in it's not fair mm. especially on behalf of our sisters in adultery in fornication it's both parties that get involved but we tend to judge the females and we leave the men out so we have not seen a Christian church that has withdrawn a member of the male category. Mm. That, okay, because you've gone to do this. And so unless the person is in high office, like a deacon or a pastor. And, and, and even look at the pastors. Pastors go and they put people in family ways and mm. we sweep them under the carpet. Oh. That's in the house of God. But you let the usher who is beside one corner just go and do something and let the pastor hear. Should be set as an escape goat for everybody to see. So why won't the pastor be set as a scapegoat? Yeah, uh, because see? these days I don't know you're sharing a cleric and these days or free are sorry we more either so no have a quack or ten day and answer. But those days when we had the real churches like the divine healers the church of pentecost and mm. those things were real you dare not even go to uh, a church service without your scarf on. and so our our conscience was really pricking us you understand okay. but today we take everything to be normal and that is what is killing the church and the uh, islamic brothers are building their faith proper, proper. No proper Islamic brother will tell you she, he really wants to marry a Christian sister. And so it won't happen. But we will go out there and go and uh, do our own thing and then, you see. So it's a bit of a challenge for the Christian community. Well, it's a bit of a challenge. We have Brother George watching us from uh, Michelle. Come, God bless you so much. We have Pastor Felix. Pastor Felix, we really miss you. And then we'll be, we be waiting for you very soon. We hope you come. He's watching us from Adan. God bless you so much. Your comments, we still have each, um, your comments. And then don't forget to like, subscribe, and then share. Invite a friend and a friend to invite another friend. Okay. Now we, we are coming into um, our family living in the church and then the society. When it happens like that, let's say they, you've been to university, you, you, are, you are a doctor or incoming lawyer, your, your, your family looks up to you and then certain things happen. You can see that they start, uh, the kind of respect they give to you, they start reducing and then like, oh, I'm not a lawyer anymore. We are making We are making no We are making 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 We are 
brings you down in a way unless it's a christian home that has strong beliefs i know i'm so more but if it's not really a strong um christian home now from from the mother especially when the mother is a stepmom they have some attitude they put up you can see that it kills you the lady and then if you don't take care you, you might even commit suicide such homes what 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 kind of advice do you give to them or especially if if the person is coming from a single home when when the parent is just a single mother mama um this is your question i want to relate it this way you see growing up we used to have this large family settings okay but these days you can bear me witness that in fact, when we are about 18, 17, 18 to 20, we, we, live in our, we live on our own. We even hardly go home. Sometimes for about a year, cry, not girl be crunched in a papa pun kada. You get me? Yeah. So it's uh, uh, now uh, uh, it's not like the olden days. The olden days, then what you are saying comes in play that they tend to put you down and all of that. But now, one out of them, so you live by yourself. You do everything by yourself. Open crown, I'll catch them until they get to see you, you don't care. So you have this learned colleague who are, who is a lawyer or a doctor who is done with the university and wants to go into service. Yen friend, but she find herself being put in the family way. I mean, they, we move. These days we move. That's what the girls will tell you. That we move. But you, you hardly see the family coming in and then even with the, um, the, the stepmom thing and all of that. What the stepmom will do will be gossip. Go here and go and say kakra about oh, hey, and then maybe you get out there to hear and then it will put your spirit down. Yes, but she cannot confront because now the youth out there are not even being submissive at home to even listen to our parents in the first place. Mm, let me see. That's how come we are having this, okay, and all of that. Those days, it wasn't like that. Those days, you live with your mom and your dad, even when the home was broken and your father goes to bring a different woman, you still submit to that woman. And so then that woman can put you in this order we are talking about. But these days, it's difficult to even come back that family size. So everybody tend to do, and that's why we have teenage pregnancies on the rise these days. Mm. So this is what I keep pushing the church. I keep saying that the church is failing in some aspects of the youth life. Jesus. Because the family has already failed us. One, the church being our greater family needs to support us. So now we don't even get, when issues like this pop up, we don't get... See, I train one sign. No, we draw you closer and we tend to pamper and talk to you because that is the only place that we can correct you. Sir, in your CAA, there's nothing we can do. The worst option is that they will tend to go and abort, which as Christians we deem as evil. And so we don't advise that. So we tend to bring you closer to us and try and pamper you and make sure that things fall in place. And then after that, we all go and ask for forgiveness of sin. Well, the Father Jesus accepted us for who we are. He took us in for who we are. He never differentiated whether you, you, you sin big or you sin small. There's no small sin. There's no big sin. He loved us for who we are. So as church and as family, we plead that our mothers, our stepmothers, our stepfathers, our siblings, in case anything like this happens to us, especially the church, we plead that you accept us and then direct us on the path. Even though we walk on the path and we sway, please accept us and then direct us on that path. Well, we still wait for your comments and then I be we believe there is, there is, there is more there is more there is more comment for us to read we have we have um brother abraham god bless you guys 
showing from um boom i guess i guess i'm right god bless you all boom executives don't forget to still like share and then subscribe it is gomez cry gomez uh god has been so good and then it has been an awesome friday today we end uh, our segment here and then we believe next week is going to be an awesome time with women women in christ children of god women in general god bless you so much and then um pastor mr george mr george yes um we would like you to share some few words before we, we wrap up finally so um i would like to leave all my christian brothers and any other person and sisters who are out there watching us and listening to us live tonight with the scripture of second timothy chapter 1 verse 7. Okay, please read it. It says, For God gave us a spirit not of fear, but of power and love and self control. It's an awesome scripture. I leave it out to you. Read the scripture and get the in depth understanding for yourself because. We've been loved, and so automatically love should control every other thing. And when love comes in, then self-control will come in. So automatically we will not find ourselves wanting in a relationship where we are not wanted or needed. Well, so we are ending on this note with self-control. How well do you, do you control your emotions, your feelings? Things that you, that you see around you, how well do you control it? Just meditate on this final word and then look up to Christ, who is the art and finisher of our faith. And then he's going to lead us to eternity. God bless you for watching. God bless you for your time. Um, I want to thank my team and then um, whoever gave me this out this is that justine god bless you so much for giving me this cloth i really love it and then my hair sister penny god bless you so much god bless the team god bless my manager and until then have a good night bye, -bye.